uh, Coach, if you could open up real quick with a statement. Well, I'm proud of the way our team played. I thought that uh, they kept playing. I mean, the game certainly didn't start out very well, but uh, you know, we went out and answered score for score, and then we finally got one up on them right there at halftime. We knew we were going to get the ball to start the second half, and we were able to overcome a call and take it down and score. It was all about the offense, but how, how big were those defensive stops? Oh, it was great, big time. I mean, the defense came out and got two really good stops in the second half there and they enabled the offense to put the game on. It seemed like the momentum changed with the muff punt, and then you guys never let go of it after that. Uh, we you got that touchdown. We had pretty good momentum. I mean, we were, we were moving the ball pretty good. And, um, but getting yeah, that I mean, extra you know, chance. Anytime there's one turnover in the game, right? When you get it, that's that's big. Like that. What did you see with our defense and able to run for all those yards? We just executed. We've been pretty good when we hold on the ball, and we didn't have penalties. I think we have one penalty on offense. And uh, when you do that, we, we had one cut block that was three yards from the line of scrimmage. <laughs> but uh, then the next play, we got it back on the targeting, so it worked itself out. Why are you like kryptonite to this team? Do you take advantage of their aggressiveness on defense, maybe, with the way they free the ball? No, I mean, we just played well. They, they got some young guys on defense, and we just we played well. They got good Georgia Tech. This year, it's been good Georgia Tech, bad Georgia Tech. They got good Georgia Tech. Can you talk about Tobias? And this is the second straight time you've come up here with a guy who's been the backup and won. Played his tail off. I mean, uh, he practiced all week. Jaquan was cleared to play, but he'd only got a couple of days of practice. And, and I just felt like, and I'm not sure he was, uh, even though he was cleared, I don't know that he was 100% cleared. So I got a lot of confidence in Tobias. And if we can play that way with Tobias. I mean, he's quick and fast and hard nosed. And, he can run all those follow plays and all those keeps, and, and he played his tail off. I mean, I don't have any yards he ended up with. 254, 215. 215, yeah, well. Did you attack him in a different way with Tobias than you would have if you We run some, it's the same offense, but we can run it a little different. When did you make the decision to go with Tobias? <laughs> well, what does this say uh, as for the future as he played his way into maybe getting some Yeah, he need, yeah it. certainly he needs to play. I mean, we'll get Taquan healthy, and they're both good players, and we'll figure it out. I some big runs by the V-backs. Yeah, they did. Well, like, you know, to, Tobias got him on a little zone key play enough to where they started slanting hard to try to get out there, and then that opened up a lot of room for the V-backs inside. You got James and, and Christian a little yeah, bit of work today. Yeah, they looked really good, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, the, uh, I thought, you know, Christian's explosive. And I threatened playing him earlier in the year. But, uh, you know, we're to the point now where they get to play four games. So, and, you know, Tobias had played enough, and I didn't want to put one, one in there again. So, uh, you know, we got James in there. He's still got two games left he can play. And, that was Christian's first game. The what offensive did line gave you a really good surge. On they did. I thought, you know, without looking at the film, I think Kenny Cooper played really well. I think Parker Braun played really well. I, you know, it's hard to tell until you look at the thing. I thought the defense after the first couple of touchdowns they had, you really didn't let them get into any kind of a rhythm. Now, we got two quick stops in the second half, and the game was over. Once we got the two stops in the second half. And then uh, I think the other one, we got them way behind the sticks, and they had to. Dump it short. What, what did your defense do better in the second half or figure out about their offense in the second half? Well, we didn't give up the, the big plays and we made a couple third down stops in the first half when they were getting, I don't know, they got the third down much. But the, you know, we, we had to get our corners involved. I mean, they came out with a good plan. They were, they were trying to make the corners tackle people and we didn't do it. We weren't physical. And, uh, you know, we made a couple of adjustments and in the second half we did a little better. You switched Zamari in there at corner and he seemed to play a little bit better. With uh, Tobias, it seemed like one thing he did really well was just spin out of tackles and fight for the tackles. Quick. Quick. Henri had another great game for you. Yeah, Henri's been real consistent all year. I know, you know, I noticed, I don't know how much he did, but I noticed in the first half they were chipping him some. And uh, so when they do that, somebody else got him. Third straight win against the Hokies. Just a good matchup for you guys, I guess? Or how do you know? Just trying to pay them back. They got us a bunch early. Beyond the just way he ran, how do you how do you grade how Tobias just ran the offense? Uh, no, I thought he played with a lot of poise and took yeah. care of the ball and did what we need to do. It's, it's like I said, you know, we're a decent team when we don't turn the ball over and have penalties. Uh, 
and, you know, everybody, and, and it is what it is. So, the, uh, but so I thought he played well. Do you think that the partner should be the to come back and be the starter when he's, when he's running the game? I think what? Will Taquan be the starter? I have no idea. We'll see if Taquan gets healthy. We'll see watch him practice. Taquan was the starter for a reason. So, and, you know, he didn't practice. He missed. He had one practice last week. So, when he couldn't come back and practice, my way of doing things is not fair to the guy who practices all the time not to let him play. Now, he'd gone out there and struggled. We could have either decided to play James because James got a lot of work. Or we could have put Taquan in there. Really wasn't sure. He was cleared to play, but he hadn't been hit since the last game. So, you know, if he'd have got tackled, he'd go. Tobias as a passer, kind of a work in progress still, I guess? Or uh, maybe only threw what, one ball. He can throw the ball. We didn't uh, really didn't need to throw it. I don't with two quarterbacks of fairly similar, I guess, skill sets. Uh, what does this give an opponent to think about if you have, have to prepare for two guys but they're I run the same? I couldn't answer that. I mean, both of them can I don't run know what the same. advantage it might give you. Both can run the same stuff. Um, you know, they can both do the same stuff. So yeah. I mean, it seemed like Taquan to, to basically did the same thing against the Louisville. <laughs> He was getting downhill and right. got the same kind of yards yeah. and that kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, when, when healthy. When Dequan's healthy, he's, he's really quick, hard to tackle, too. Okay. Thanks, Tobias had a ton of carries. Yeah. Physically, he's always, you know, you know. How many carries? Yeah, he had a ton of carries. I mean, I think he had over 40 carries. He, he physically. Ball's not heavy. 